He's already captured three PBA Tour titles this year, including a major at the U.S. Open. Tonight, Player of the Year frontrunner E.J. Tackett hopes to add to that total with a win at the World Series of Bowling. It's the PBA Cheetah Championship, and it's next on FS1. Outside Milwaukee, it's time to resume the 14th guaranteed rate World Series of Bowling. Tonight, we bring you the first of three straight nights of championship round shows on different oil patterns. We start with the Cheetah. Five great bowlers here competing for a championship. They are B.J. Moore, E.J. Tackett, Joseph Rondon, along with Jacob Buttrip and A.J. Johnson. Welcome, boy fans. Great to have with us. Dave Ryan, alongside the Hall of Famer, Randy Peterson. <laughs> It's Rhino tonight. It is Rhino, <laughs> as it should be. I love it. As it We're should be. We're joined by Kimberly Presser in a moment. This is the first of four. Now they're calling for you. Four titles we'll have for you on FS1 at Fox Sports, wrapping up the World Series of Bowling. But the question I have for you tonight, can EJ Tackett continue his player of the year caliber season? Yeah, he can, but something very important has to happen to EJ in order for that to work. And his success is all based on one thing and one thing only. I'll get to that in a second, but you're right, Dave. EJ is on fire, and what a 2023 season it has been for him. The front runner in the player of the year race, and he has a chance to win three events here at the WSOB 14. But in order for EJ Tackett to win, he has to avoid that disastrous open frame that somehow haunts him on television. If he can do that, he's almost unbeatable. Now, B.J. Moore is our top seed. He has one career PBA Tour title. Did really well. 2019 Scorpion runner-up to Chris Prather at the World Series of Bowling. What do you like most about his game? Efficiency of motion. Tonight's telecast is all about power and RPMs, and B.J. Moore has the most RPMs on the show tonight. But he does it in a way that is absolutely beautiful to watch. He doesn't even break a sweat. B.J. Moore's got one title to his credit. He's looking for a second and first under the bright lights of national television. That's great info on the top two seeds. How about the number five seed tonight, A.J. Johnson? He's joined now by Kimberly Pressler. Thanks, Dave. So, A.J., you know, there's a lot of talent on this show, but the buzz about here tonight is all about you and the fact that you are finally up here with a chance to get that first PBA Tour title. So how do you get around that? Does that affect you at all when you come into something like this? No, obviously, it's in the back of my head. It has been. Um, and I don't want to say, you know, I'm unappreciative of everything that's been said and all that. I've uh, won across the world. But, uh, but yeah, I, I'd be lying if I said that uh, it doesn't need at me and uh, kind of tired of hearing it. So all the, uh, all the work that I've done uh, starting just a few weeks ago with uh, my mental performance coach and all the work that we've put in is uh, really culminated to how I got here. And... Um, it's just time to do it, one ball at a time, and just control what I can control. Good luck to you. Thank you. All right, KP, AJ, thanks so much. Step ladder matchups tonight. We start with AJ Johnson, powerful, talented bowler, against former major champion Jacob Butcher for our lone lefty. The winner takes on Joseph Grandin of San Pedro, California. National TV debut tonight. The PBA Tour three-time winner on tour this year. EJ Tack is the number two seed. Top seed of tonight, BJ Moore from outside Pittsburgh, bidding for his second career title. Here are the odds to win provided by Fox Bet for entertainment purposes only. Hmm. Interesting. Plus 100 for BJ Moore. Top seed, only one match needed. Here we go. Time to bowl tonight from just outside Milwaukee. Johnson gets us started. He's in the channel. It's something, Randy, we expected to happen tonight on the Cheetah pattern. Well, and we've seen it before on Cheetah, and what a way to start for A.J. Johnson. And, you know, I loved his answer in his interview with Kimberly. The hardest one to win is that first one, Dave. The way the Cheetah is set up, it's the shortest pattern. We saw it in practice. It happened during competition in the Cheetah, Randy, 238 times 
balls in the gutter, so it's not a shock, but still, it's got to be tough. Needs everything here for a spare. Leaves a 10 pin, so it's an early open. Unlucky. It was a pretty good shot, but it, uh, you, you folks at home watching oh. are wondering. I guess there's a spot to do it. First frame is the best one. <laughs> why the players are playing that part of the lane, it's because the old pattern calls for it, right? There's friction, but it's all the way to the outside part of the lane, and when you play that far right or left, for Jacob, it's going to be left. He's left-handed. You run the risk of getting zero on your first ball. Great World Series of Boeing so far for the fourth seed. Only southpaw tonight, Jacob Buttreff. Moving <laughs> with a channel on the other side. Help on the seven pin, down it goes. Nice. A little more on the Brunswick oil pattern here tonight. It's the Cheetah Randy Shorts of the three for the next three nights. A cheetah, fastest land animal on the planet, right? 35 feet in length, and you can see the lines. Blue for the right-handers, obviously red for Jacob Butcher, our lone lefty, and, and that could spell trouble for the rest of the field tonight as Jacob is out there on an island all by himself. Seven pin again. So a really good start here for Buttrip on the left lane, who, Randy, by the way, in the 20 games that Cheetah did not have a gutter ball. Did not have. Yeah, it looked like he fouled, guys. Watch this. What happened? Oh. Um, I'm not sure. I, I can't. I can't see if they're calling that a foul or not. Waiting on the ruling. It is a foul. Interesting start. A gutter ball and then a foul. Wow. All right. So Butcher's got to regroup here and just get set. Foul seven on your score sheet officially. And Johnson on the bench, who had the ball on the channel to begin the match, is now actually ahead. <laughs> it's a wild start here, Randy. Well, what a huge break because if the foul, if he, Jacob doesn't foul, he starts with a double, right? Right. Instead, it's that man, A.J. Johnson, with the early lead through two. In his arsenal, he's throwing a jackal ambush. Better. We started with the USA versus the world, the two shows we had here on Fox Saturday again. Yesterday, the world won that one impressively, 12 to the final. Cheetah tonight, Scorpion tomorrow, 7 Eastern FS1. Shark on Wednesday, all wraps up Sunday. Noon Eastern on Fox, presented by Pabst Blue Ribbon, the PBA World Championship. All events here. Valera Wauwatosa outside Milwaukee. The fourth major of the season is coming up. So we talked about the equipment that AJ's using on the right lane, the Jackal Ambush. He's using a Venom recoil on the left lane. Number for AJ, 20 games to make it here to the show. Yeah. And there's the 10 pin standing there. It was a dramatic finish for AJ to even make the show. An incredible finish with a roll off after the 20 games. And just another soft 10. And when you have that much power and you can play that much angle, you certainly don't want to see a flat 10 or a weak 10. 13th career TV appearance. As he told Kimberly's won internationally, Team USA. Lots of success. Collegiately, so was an All-American. Yeah, that, that one was a little, a little softer. That McKendry, first team All-American pick. And he's in their Hall of Fame. He hasn't won on tour yet. Hey, Dave. Guess what ball Jacob Buttress using? Purple Hammer? You are correct, my friend. All right, seven pin down. And a strike for the lefty. Beauty right here by Jacob Buttress and a nice Rebound after frame two disaster with a foul and then seven. I'll tell you, I watched Jacob do a lot of bowling this week and a, a lot on the shark pattern. And he's throwing it and rolling it as good as I've seen him in a while. 
top seed on the Scorpion Show coming up later this week. And in great shape to make the World Championship field as well. See, now this is what you want to have happen is that ball finishing dead flush. You don't have to worry about the corner pins. Twenty bowlers have won their first career PBA Tour title at the World Series of Bowling. A.J. Johnson would like to make that 21 here. It happened twice last year. Flirts with it again, and he's back into the channel again. Wow. Mm, A.J. Bad shot, too far to the right. Working on a spare, so he obviously loses 10 pins in count. As you can see here, the gutter balls among amongst tonight's finalists. Including what we just saw. And does get the spare with all 10 back there. Kevin Williams, Kyle Sherman won their first career titles. For Sherman, his first singles title came last year at the World Series of Bowling in Boatos. Randy knows about Gino. When was that? What year was that? Uh, it was so long ago, I forgot. <laughs> I think it was 2002. Was that your 13th? Yes, sir. All right. Hall of Famer Randy Peterson, 23rd year in the booth. All-time record, PBA Tour history. AJ Johnson now going with the same ball on both lanes. Got to change up something here. AJ, it's in again. It's in again. It's in again. That's three. <sighs> Wow. Has to get there, but not that far. Just poor execution. There's no other way to spin it. Um, oh, just, it you know, for whatever it. reason, A.J. Johnson is just not being careful enough in his direction through the front part of the lane. It's getting too far to the right, and it's going in. So again, goes for the spare and does get it. And that's the good news. We believe that it's an all-time PBA single match TV Man, I know it's got to get over there, but not that three far. Three gutter balls. Gosh. Pretty sure that's a record. Yeah. I've never called more than one in, three in a and, match. Three and five frames. Yeah, it's not done yet. Possibly. Okay, Buttruff trying to oh. avoid the same fate. <laughs> Does Here you go. the razor thin margin there. Now the boards are 1.06 inches wide. There are 39 of them. The deck 42 inches wide. And of course 60 feet long. But I mean you're looking at <laughs> how, how much did, hey, where how the heck did much, you get those numbers? How much space, Randy? Is it half an inch? I mean, what is that? So I mean right he's right on them. He's got about an inch here before it goes oh. in, maybe. maybe. Um, but, you know, at this level, these players can play anywhere on the lane. That's true. All right. That's a lot better. But AJ's been in the channel three times. Hard to win when you can't keep it on the lane, my friend. AJ Johnson in a heap of trouble down 45 halfway through match number one. The PBA on FS1 is sponsored by Guaranteed Rate. Want to move fast? With Same Day Mortgage, you can go from application to approval in as fast as one day to get you closing on the home of your dreams in just 10 days. Learn more at rate.com. And by Bolero, the number one place to bowl, party, and play with over 325 locations nationwide. Head to bolero.com today to find a center near you. Huge lead, Jacob Buttram. Fourth seed tonight here at the PBA Championship. Dave Long's out of Hall of Famer and Kimberly will be here on FS1. On heart, 20 games to get to the show. Two gutter balls for AJ. 
three have come in this game. Time is now for Johnson again. Birds with disaster, but oh my goodness! Great ball reaction. That's right, Wait, Bridget. What, what did you just say, Dave? Birds, what? What? Birds with disaster. Well, uh, another what? Maybe half of that 0.6 number. He's in the gutter. You know, the late, great Billy Whaley used to always say, trust is a must or your game is a bust. But there is a point where you got to kind of bag that and say, I need to be a little bit more careful. Well, AJ told us pre-match, he's done a lot of work with his mental performance coach, Brian Carl in Phoenix, about being more focused. He's going to need all that training oh. at this point to come back and avoid further trouble. Trip for him there. Stays on the Yeah, we're watching him in the break. He's he's relaxed. <laughs> That's the good news. Family is here, as he told us, uh, not too far from his home in Illinois, near Chicago. Great to see them all on hand, watching in the front row. Mom Judy, Dad Sean, nephew Mason, his grandfather Bill here for the first time to watch him on TV. His girlfriend Allie. Buttruff trying to cruise the victory here, and a good shot, seven pin. Well, still in complete control is Jacob Buttruff. He's going at a 2.13 pace right now with the open. AJ Johnson can still shoot 2.19. Looks down. Wants to avoid a second foul of the match. That has the single pin spare conversion. Remember, he fouled there in the second frame, but, you know, Jacob, in his unusual style, he actually slides after he lets go of the bowling ball. Watch this. See how that foot keeps going. His eighth frame. Oh, yeah. Well, Jacob told us he took a couple days off after the SBC Masters outside Detroit a couple weeks back. Mentally recharged. And the batteries are on full heading in to the World Series of Bowling. He's had a great series. And off to a great start here in match number one. Cut it to 24 in the eighth frame. Does that. In a groove now. Yeah, and another strike in the ninth frame. He'll give Jacob Butcher a little something to think about. But what could have been if three shots actually stay on the lane for A.J. Johnson? Tolis has really good run, confirms to himself that he belongs under the bright lights of TV. Look, job right out to there. <laughs> I Cuts it to 14. That one was coming right for our front door. It didn't look like it was going in. Watch this one again. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. On the cusp, Barbie. I, on the cusp. I, I got to be honest with you. I don't need to see another one of those leave the playing field, if you know what I mean. Foundation frame, Buttrip. Back up by 24. Seven pin. Good shot. Mm. Very interesting. Pretty good duplication of shots right there. If you look at strike track on the right side of your screen. And back-to-back -back seven pins on that right lane. Again looks down. And some issues on the approach here tonight. And take another look at that approach Thank of you, Jacob right. as he continues to skid towards. You can't tell if he went up. No, it looks like he stayed behind it there. And better look right here. Uh, that's pretty close to fouling. 
He needs two strikes in the seventh frame, or excuse me, two strikes and seven in the tenth frame. Just to take one last look at his feet, no foul. AJ Johnson still has a chance. He's looking down, isn't he? And he doesn't oh, strike. No. Wow. Two six split. Game changer. Well, I'm not sure the last time I ever saw this split for a left-hander. And now we're being told it was another foul. Which wow. Which may be. Well, no, I, gosh. If it's a foul, he loses that eight count. It goes to 183 in the ninth. Here it is, Randy. And another foul on that left lane. Way over. Now, oh. well, good cover there. But A.J. Johnson, if you can believe it, with three gutter balls in the first five frames can win game one. Eventful opening match here tonight. Jacob Buttrip, two fouls. A.J. Johnson, three gutter balls. What a crazy opening match. I've never seen that in 20 years of broadcasting the PBA. Two fouls, three gutter balls? No way, same match? Not even on the same show. No. 203. AJ needs to strike and get eight. And he will advance to take on newcomer Joseph Grondon. for a sixth straight strike. I mean, talk about a roller coaster of emotions. Oh. Needs a strike. Gets a strike! How about it for A.J. Johnson? What a comeback! His family is pumped. Uh, not over yet. He still needs eight Can I take a re -rack? on this shot. We have a Pat six pack alert, Randy. If AJ strikes here, win one thousand dollars. Sponsored by Pat's Blue Ribbon of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Right here. Just remember to drink responsibly. I mean, I, as a player, I mean. You got to block out those three gutter balls, but you don't want to yank this an arrow left or two arrows left. I mean, you just got to ace it and make sure you keep it on the lane. Eight for the victory. He's got it. He gets nine. And incredibly. Improbably, A.J. Johnson overcomes three balls in the channel in the same match and wins. So I get by Jacob Butler. I need a defibrillator. <laughs> Extraordinary. And his girlfriend, Allie, says, we can do this. Proud of you, buddy. All right. Good, 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 good. Good friends, former Team USA teammates. Johnson is through. Incredible, Randy. Incredible. AJ gets off to the worst start you could possibly imagine. Throwing that gutter ball there in the first, then again in the fourth, and backed it up in the fifth. And then somehow manages to throw five in a row. Butcher fouls again, and here's your winning shot. He needed eight, he got nine. Unbelievable opening match. To Kimberly with AJ. AJ, we just saw the replays of those uh, gutter balls that you had three in the first five. How in the world did you overcome that and walk away as the winner in this match? 
Well, I knew my my, uh, my ball was doing the was pretty damn good when it stayed on the lane. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean it, it, that's uh, that's the direction we got to get it on this one, and you know, unfortunately, just a couple ones that just got a little too far right, and when they lose elevation, they don't get very many pins. So uh, I just went over and talked to Brett at the break, and he said, "Hey, let's just let's get back to throwing the good ones because when the good ones stay on the lane, they strike." and Let's just make one hell of a story out of it. I think you did exactly that. Is that the wildest match in PDA history? Yeah, I, I, I mean, I think my expression at the end when, uh, when I got nine said it all, I just said, wow. Um, you know, Jacob bowled great this whole week, uh, bowled great in this match. Um, but uh, we got life, and I mean, what more can I ask for? It's all I want. Congratulations on your win. Thanks. Incredible. AJ's family thumbs up because he advances to take on the three seed Joseph Grobin from Southern California trying for his first career title as well. Don't miss more great bowling. What a first match. AJ Johnson knocks off Jacob Buttrip, 208, 203. Wild, eventful, to say the least. More great bowling to come. First, let's go to Kimberly Preston. Thanks, Dave. Becoming a PBA pro is a dream realized by a lot of the competitors here at the World Series of Bowling this week. But you know what? There are also a lot of surprises while you're on tour, and you're going to find out what some of those are in tonight's pressing questions presented by Go Bowling. The most shocking thing out, out here is how much better the younger guys are than when we, when I was young. YouTube and, and the internet wasn't at the place it is now, so you have so many more avenues to for coaching and for knowledge that you that we didn't that we didn't have. So when when the kids come out now at an early age, they're so much further ahead than we were. What is one thing that was totally unexpected about this life? Oh man, it is a mental grind. I mean, people don't really understand what it's like to be week in and week out as a bowler. And uh, you don't understand it until you get to experience it firsthand. So there's so many ups and downs. You know, everybody comes out here and they, early on they do they can do pretty well. If, if things match up and, and that guy that you used to watch on TV once or twice a year, you're going, eh, that guy's not that good, is kicking your butt again. And you realize that everyone out here is really, really good at something and the really great ones are just good at a lot of things. What is the most surprising thing about being a pro bowler? Maybe some of the coverage that I've gotten from being a professional bowler, uh, being in the Macy's Day Parade, uh, throwing a first pitch out at the White Sox game. You know, uh, that was a few experiences that I never really thought being a professional bowler would get me. What is the most surprising thing about being a pro bowler? I think it's the, the friendship and the camaraderie amongst the players. You know, ultimately we are out here, you know, competing for our living. Uh, but the friendships that not only bowling out on the PBA, but just around the world uh, and just, you know, all the centers throughout the U.S. It, it's uh, kind of impressive how, how well bowling brings everybody together. So, as we check the Cheetah Championship step ladder bracket now, AJ, a five-pin win over Butcher. For you, Randy, as a pro, what was your biggest surprise? Oh, uh, gosh, I think what happened five minutes ago. Was but for in, me. In, in, all, in all seriousness, it was probably the the fact of how good the guys are out here. I mean, how genuine, uh, how giving. Um, never say no to an autograph or a picture. Just how, just how good the guys are in terms of human beings and people. All right, here we go. There's a Prondon, Southern California, just outside Long Beach. His first nationally televised shot comes up here. Wichita State alone. Joseph gets going on that left lane. Good start. That's a way farther in, though, at 5-4 than what we saw from A.J. Johnson. Remember, he was teetering on that 1-2 board. And nice opening shot for the newcomer. Does A.J. make a big move here, Randy, in game two? I don't know. Do you think he should? Yeah, he's got to do something different. I mean, his last shot, he barely got nine for the win. It went light, almost left the 2 8 10. Okay. Four pin goes down late. Good start for AJ.
Nice little break here for AJ. It starts the ball inside a second arrow all the way out to the, the two board and comes in just a pinch high trip in the four late. Mental focus. Needed all three of the 10th, the last game. 20 on the cheetah to make the show, then a double and eight. In the roll off just to get here to a double wood. Well, he got it to that spot down lane again. You can see right there. And the problem is, is that he got it there late. If he gets it to that spot maybe a little bit earlier with a little slower speed, maybe comes around the corner, but. The shot on the right lane an inch farther in or left. And that one fortunate to just leave it 2 8. Perfect ah, so far. Okay. Didn't like it though. Yeah. And that's why. Eight stands open for him. Oh, leave it there. I mean, he's been given enough opportunities early, and it's just. You, you, you have to wonder, I mean, how many of these mishaps can he overcome? Fourth year pro, 24 year old Joseph Grombit is going to try to take advantage. A mechanical engineering major with a math minor from Wichita State. Guess what ball he's using? Which one? Purple Hammer. There You've you seen go. that before. Let's go, Jim Tempe. And you can see how much straighter Joseph is going, and that's because he's using urethane. So Joseph is wearing basketball shoes on national TV. In fact, they are older shoes. And look at the right heel, Randy. It is flopping. I've never called a match in 20 years of a pro bowler not wearing bowling shoes. I have. Michael Halgood Jr. was wearing boat shoes. Wow. And they are taped up as well. <laughs> but. Ran 10 pin there. He's bowled pretty well. So the story is those were his brother's basketball shoes. Several years ago, he was in a tournament. He fell three times with bowling shoes. Yeah. So he wanted to go to Hoops Shoes instead. Uh -huh. They gave him a better feel on the lanes. And he's worn basketball shoes, competing in bowling since. Got an exemption and a special approval to wear them at the World Series of Bowling. Those shoes look like they've been through a meat grinder. Got a spare, he's pumped. Yeah, he's playing the lanes completely different than AJ, right? He's going much straighter, using the urethane, and, and just kind of bumping it off that dry to the right. And the first three shots that he threw were real nice, just leaving the 10 pin there in the third. Does like to talk to himself, so we'll keep an eye on that as well. What a nice young man, though. He has he nice really, with him. Absolutely. Pretty show, sure, working as NBA now at Wichita State Online. Lives in Michigan. Assistant coach at Davenport University in Grand Rapids. AJ tries to recover from the open. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Close, RP. It's close. <laughs> you don't see a whole lot of amateurs playing this line, and it's because it's, uh, well, it takes a lot of talent. And without the talent, you don't have the guts to play that kind of line. AJ's lay down area is 10 left from Joseph's. Meaning when his ball hits the lane, he's 10 boards to the left of where Joseph's wow. ball is hitting the lane. Wow. And that's the difference between reactive resin and urethane. Grondon had one gutter ball in the 20 games to get him to show, by the way. All right. You know, it, it, it's all about intimidating in match number two when you take on a player that's never been in this situation. And for A.J. Johnson, the only way to do that is by throwing strikes at Joseph Grondon. And if he can't do that, well, you're just not going to strike any fear in your opponent. Good double there by A.J. in the third and fourth. See if Grondon can respond. You bet. 
He's finding it off of the pocket. Look at those numbers. And that's break point. That's down lane at the end of the pattern. And just splitting hairs down there is Joseph. And I like his line a lot. And I promise you, the way he's playing the lanes, the only way his ball goes in the gutter is if he hits his ankle in the downswing. It's unlikely, but with the shoes. <laughs> I mean, I hey, really don't know. you know who else used to do the tennis shoe thing was Jess Stayrook. There you go. He, he used to wear high top tennis shoes back when I think there was only three three brands. Up by 21, that's coming in high, almost the big four. Instead, the 4-6-10 split stands. Tough conversion. Yeah, it might as well be the big four. A good time for this to happen to A.J. Johnson, not so much for Joseph Grondon. Oh! Four stands, open frame. Open frame for each in the match now. And things turn so fast. I mean, think about game one with three opens, two fouls, and now AJ missing the 2-8 in the second and now has the lead by one, working on a double. He can take it to 21 heading into commercial break. Amazing. Turkey for AJ. Wow. High risk, high reward. See the average among tonight's finalists coming in. Jacob Buttrick needed two incredible games to finish out his 20 games to make it to the show. A 255 and 265. He had a disastrous start. Tough night with fouls tonight. DJ Moore sits atop the leaderboard, waiting with one match for a title. Six frame for the four bagger for a 21 pin lead, but it's high. It just will help on the three. Six ten stand. Yeah, you can see the position at the arrows was left and certainly not steep enough through the front part of the lane as you see this line here on strike track. Yeah, he's trying to shoe it to the right. And nice break trip in that three forward, three, six, ten. Much tougher than the six, ten. A mercurial match, a tempestuous match. And night, Randy, it's gone back and forth in our two matches so far. It's been awesome. Dave, I have absolutely no idea what you just said, but uh, I'm really excited to learn. I'll Google it during the break. Registration for the inaugural 2023 PBA LBC National Championships now open. For all bowlers and all skill levels from across all centers. This time right here in Milwaukee. You can compete in singles as well as optional doubles and team events. Even combine your scores with the pros. Enter today at PBA.com. You and I are so taken down the doubles title, brother. I can't wait to team oh. up with you. I'm just kidding. We're not bowling. But we're going to be rooting for everybody that participates in that great event. Nine pin spread here getting set to wrap up match two after AJ beat Jacob Buttruff in a thriller in the first one. See strike percentage after an open frame. Joseph Grondon is perfect. 100%. How about that? Six frame trying to repeat the feat. And help with a nine pin down it goes. Awesome. Excuse me, sir, but uh, that was an assault on the ninth pin. Watch this. From both sides. That's pretty fun to watch there. Yeah, nine pin had no chance. Well, and it shouldn't. It shouldn't be there in the first place. <laughs> chance to take a lead here, seventh frame. By one with a strike. Big double here. Yes. Got it! Yeah. Nice shot. This guy looks like he, he could be in a rock band too, doesn't he? Good strike song. 
talked with both Parker Bone III and Sean Rash, got some advice from both of them. How to handle national TV tonight. Both told him, enjoy the moment. It'll go by fast. He's enjoying it. He's got a lead. Great finish going here. Johnson again first for the channel. It takes a left turn and crosses the one-three pocket. Very nice there by A.J. Johnson. Let's take a look 3D at the way these two players are attacking the Cheetah Oil pattern. Johnson, the red ball. Grandin, the blue ball. Obviously, Grandin much farther right. He's using urethane. Ball speed's just a little bit faster. It has to be. He's trying to keep the ball much straighter. And you can see the arc that A.J. Johnson is playing. But take a look at some of these numbers and the big differences. Okay, there's the lay down. There's the position at the arrows. But look at that, the break point. As we pretty much see on every pattern, break point being the same no matter where the players are played. Reason why? It's where the players want to start seeing motion back to the pocket. Johnson. No help on the nine. Lots of shrapnel in the deck there, but doesn't get to that nine pin. What did I say about the nine pin? Doesn't belong there. It wasn't invited, does not belong. AJ working on a strike, and this couldn't have happened at a worse time, heading down the stretch here in match number two. As the nine has his mark. Let's go to Kimberly. Well, you guys mentioned Joseph's mechanical engineering degree earlier, and he told me that he chose that major, major because he comes from a family of engineers. His dad, Pat, who's actually here, and his mom, Janet, are engineers, as well as both of his grandfathers. In fact, his grandpa, Al, actually built a plane from scratch in his garage. So Joseph said it was a natural path to follow them. And then he shrugged and said, plus, I'm pretty good at math, so I figured Awful. I'd give it a go. Come on. Better than that. Really smart that. young man, Kimberly, no question. Impressive Be better than that. academic acumen. And his dad here watching. Dad, Pat. Well, I promise you, that family's good with numbers. And no. dad knows the score. It's a big spare here. Converts. Come on. Be better than that. things very close. This one right now. All you, brother. All you. Fight. Joseph's second committed year on tour. First time under the bright lights of national TV. Huge shot, huge strike. Hey, partner, take a look at this right here. Now, we're in for a scintillating finish here, Randy. Absolutely, and this is huge for Joseph because it keeps him in it, but no matter what, he cannot shut out A.J. Johnson. Three more of those, and guess what? A.J. Johnson's gonna move on to face. E.J. Tackett. Three-time winner on tour this year. A number two seed front runner for player of the year. Oh. 
Does he have the first? No. Too late. That shot there almost looked like it rolled out, like it lost energy and quit right before he came up the hill to the 1-3 pocket. <laughs> and watch the ball motion if we can pick it up. The location looks pretty good. Wondering if it was a miss hit out of his hand. Oh my God. Missed it again. Oh, where did that come from? Wow. Yeah. Wow. Missed the 284 for it. Missed, sorry, Dave. Missed the 28 twice on the same lane, that left lane. I thought that first one was going to come off of it. Ronda needs a mark to win. Extraordinary turnaround. When AJ just needed. Just one. Well, needed to strike out to shut out his. Just a shot. Just a shot. Pin. Well, he came up and out of that shot pretty good and had some velocity, and it's a good thing because it was certainly left of target by a couple target. of boards. Prepared for this your whole life. Just a target now. Think about what would happen if yep. he was bowling in the title match. Now. I mean, this is uh, just to get to EJ Tackett, and there's still BJ Moore waiting. Right. Like Four saying. pin that typically you can make with your eyes closed for a right-hander. Yes, baby, win. come on! You got One it. more! One more, baby, come on! Well, he doesn't even need any pins now. First TV appearance successful for Joseph Granum, the Wichita State alum. He gave so much credit to legendary coach Gordon Vatican when we spoke to him today. Looks like a little ball change and an experiment coming up for the next match. Throwing reactive. That looked pretty good. Sure did. Good ball, brother. Good ball. It's good ball. looking yep. good yep. for Joseph Grana, the three seed. I like that. Dad Pat, like a gotta love it. The advance and take like on EJ Tackett next. It's number three against number two. In match three. Speaking of three. Tackett's got three titles this year. He's been spectacular. More great ball still to come here on FS1 at Fox Sports. Scorpion and Shark, 7 Eastern. Next two nights, then Sunday, presented by Pastor Ribbon, the PBA World Championship, another major. Noon Eastern on Fox. EJ Tackett is the number two seed. Had a tremendous U.S. Open this year. Got the green jacket. Joined now by Kimberly. EJ, so you already have three titles this season, but by the end of this week, you have a chance to add three more to that list. So why so dominant this season? Uh, I've just been bowling really well. Um, I, I've seen the transition uh, and a lot of the patterns pretty well. Um, been able to keep up with the moves. I think I feel like that's really, really important to be able to do that and been able to ex execute when I did. Well, right before this interview, we were talking about what was happening in the previous matches, and uh, we were talking about the gutter balls. And you said to me that you were actually the leader of getting gutter balls leading into today from all of this week. Yeah. So how is your look out there right now? Are we going to be expecting some gutter balls or no? Well, hopefully we don't throw back to 10 years ago where I bowled my first show on this pair of lanes where I threw a gutter ball against Bill. So um, we'll try to keep it out of the gray boards. And uh, my strike percentage was pretty good when, when my ball did stay on the lane. So... Hopefully we can do that and uh, come away with a uh, couple match wins and a new trophy. Well, thank you for your time. We'll let you get back to your practice. You. Kimberly, EJ had eight gutter balls in the 20 games of Cheetah leading in <laughs> to the show here tonight. He was four <laughs> for eight on those full rack shots. Here are the odds to win presented by Bucks Bet for entertainment purposes only. EJ, a big favorite in this match. Head to head with Joseph Grondon.
two wildly entertaining matches so far here tonight from outside Milwaukee. Dave Longtown, the Hall of Famer Randy Peterson, and Kimberly Pressler with you. Continuing coverage of the 14th guaranteed rate. World Series of Bowling Cheetah Championship tonight. Been entertaining, Randy, for sure. Yeah, it really has. I mean, you never know what's going to happen when the cheetah oil pattern is involved, right? DJ e. Tackett, Joseph Rondon head to head. Third match. <laughs> Former Shocker. Good start. Former Shocker is throwing the high hard one right at the 1 3 pocket with urethane. Were we allowed to hit it? Huh? Were we allowed to hit it? That wrist snap at the bottom, it's real quick. His wrist is actually inverted in the downswing, and then he rolls his wrist right underneath it and uncups it at the bottom of the swing, and at the release point, it happens real quick. EJ Tackett, nice. Smokes the rack, tattoos the one three pocket. Pound for pound, the baddest man in bowling right here. Look how athletic he is. That out to end swing and gets that elbow and hand in a perfect position to create all that power and direction. EJ Tackett, man, can he throw it. And he can play anywhere on the lane. He can throw it halfway down the lane. As you take a look at his arsenal, he's going with blue coral venom to start. Left lane for Tackett. Okay, whoa. In there, uh, looked like a great shot. Wow, that's all right. Better now than late when you have to have a strike to win. And watch the bowling ball go right past the eight pin. Never really liked that pin. <laughs> pin stinks. Little history ran in the eight pin, as all bowling fans know. No, no history. None whatsoever. You sure? No. Mm. It was so long ago, who cares? Check his Twitter handle. Knocked off AJ in a wild match, 205-194. To get to match number three, first ever national TV appearance for the three seed from SoCal. Oh, ball change on the right lane for a Leaves bucket. Leaves the bucket. Five, eight, the bucket. My, mindset. I mean, I, I think mindset still. I should have tipped. He said it should have tipped, meaning it should have hooked back up into the pocket and doesn't. Trying to get the name of this bowling ball he went to. That is certainly reactive, not urethane. All right, bucket lead, bucket conversion. Nicely done. That's a big mark early in the match here against right now the best bowler on the planet. Spare the game, sponsored by Guaranteed Rate. Want to get moving fast with same-day mortgage? You can go from application to approval in as little as one business day. Time to get your dream home crazy fast. Learn more at rate.com. Dave, I, I've got the name of the ball he used on the right lane. You want to hear it? Yes, I do. I'll tell you right after this shot. Come on, Joe. Come on, Joe. Play, looking for a bounce back. On the right, so he's still in the purple hammer on the left lane. On the right lane, he's throwing a deviate. Brutal collision. Better shot, bringing 10 target. pin. It's the target. Good number so far for Joseph. That stat moves up a bit. Single pin spare conversion takes oh. out the 10 pin. <laughs> Tack at the second seed tomorrow night, 7 Eastern here in FS1 Scorpion Championship behind Jacob Buttrip. How about he's the second seed for the World Championships, or excuse me, World Championship heading into match play Thursday? EJ! Flat 10 this time. Hmm. He's had a great week, and he told us pre show, Randy, that. Three different patterns. Performed so well. That 
speaks to his versatility. Well, and I think the other thing they have to keep in mind is the, the amount of games that EJ and the rest of these players have bowled. I mean, EJ hasn't had a day off for how long? Too long for him. <laughs> Been tough. It's going great, though. Saturday on Fox, some of baseball's best show out in an early season showdown as Pete Alonso and Francisco Lindor lead the Mets against Brandon Crawford of the Giants. Or Luis Roberts and the White Sox battle Randy Arroz Arena and the dominating Rays. What a start they have this year, huh? All begins Saturday, 4 Eastern on Fox. Yeah, the Rays, what a start. But getting back to EJ and, and the rest of the field this week at the World Series, just an absolute brutal, brutal competition. 3 6 10. Yeah, you know, I've been at this for a long time, not only as a player, but as a broadcaster. And I'm not sure I've ever seen a more brutal event. The players were as frosty as I've ever seen them. And uh, this guy, EJ Tackett, I mean, we saw him last night, or yesterday, rather. We saw him the night before. Here he is again tonight. Good cover there on the 3610. We're going to see him got tomorrow. It, I mean, <laughs> 10 days since uh, he hasn't thrown a bowling ball. 60 straight days. Excuse me, 60 straight games, three days in a row, right? I mean, he's, I don't know how he still has a hand attached to that right arm. Number two seed in this event. Shawnee Classic, best finish. DJ Ar Archer in the opening match in that one. Ball change again on the right lane. Went to it pays a, off. Went to a mindset. <laughs> Beer Frank sponsored by Pat Smith in uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. About 10 minutes from downtown Milwaukee here. As for the original and please drink responsibly. Fifth frame for 13 pin lead. 6 10. Mindset. Mindset. Well, he's going to get out of the urethane on that left lane and go to the same ball he's using on the right. Target. Target it up here. So the, the like strikes are slowing down, scoring pace is slowing down a bit, and that's because of transition. Joseph is now changing balls. He's getting out of the urethane. That means the length yeah. changed enough to where it's forcing his hand to do that. Talking with Dino Castillo, senior Masters champ. Fit for Tackett, works on a spare down three. Nice shot. Nice shot. Wow. What a beauty that was. First two days here at the World Series of Bowling. A loss to the world team for USA 12-2. As he takes a re-rack, we take a look at EJ's incredible form. It's pretty spectacular to watch, isn't it? And you know what's what's really cool? You know one of his biggest. You know who one of his biggest fans is? He's actually back home in Jupiter, Florida, right now, watching EJ. He never misses a telecast when EJ is on. He, well, he actually never misses a telecast. But how about former British Open champ Mark Kalkovecchia? Huge EJ Tackett fan. We talked to EJ earlier today. EJ said, "Yeah, I, I spoke with Mark earlier." Shout out to Cal. Great friend of the PBA. DJ Tackett, yeah, it's really good. 60 Come feet to success. He blitzes the rack on the left lane. EJ Tackett has a nice lead halfway through. Halfway home match three here tonight from outside Milwaukee. Tackett works on a double. Seven pin lead on the youngster. 
Joseph Grandin from San Pedro, California. Joseph wearing basketball shoes. EJ Tackett wears bowling shoes. We talked about that, Randy, tonight. How about a shoe update, Randy? You're asking me to do an update on this? <laughs> Duck not to me. I mean, I mean, um, come on, Joe. I mean, God. And look at, I mean, Joe, look how nice these are. I mean, they don't even look like bowling shoes. They're so cool looking. But you know what? Hey, Joseph likes these. They're comfortable. And if he likes wearing them and he can strike, so be it. <laughs> Comes in high, 3-6-10. You know, and with the reactive ball, you have to create some angle, right? I mean, you have to move in. you got to get steeper through the front part of the lane, meaning that line has got to go a little more left to right when you move into a stronger bowling ball. So what happens is he does get it to that hook spot, and because his angle is a bit straighter through the front, it goes high. Look out. Go! Ten stands, open frame. That is a big miss. And for the first time tonight, Joseph is really starting to feel some heat. That hurts. 21 pin spread now. Let's see how he responds. Left lane really needs this. Gets it. Now you can see how much more angle that was in the urethane. The blue line's the urethane, and the red line is the last shot he just threw. And he needs more of that on that right lane especially. If you want to be player of the year, CJ Tack has done once already in his great career back in 2016. You take advantage of opponents' mistakes. He's done it all year, and this is another opportunity. Go up by 31. That's what you do when you want to be player of the year. Nasty. Guys, incredible. Sunday, the NASCAR Cup Series returns to Fox as the series has the Talladega, where high speeds and pack racing always make you hold your breath, catch all the action. We race kicking things off at 2 Eastern. Then the engines fire for the Geico 500 at 3 Eastern. Catch it all on Fox. Well, you know what they say, Dave. If you ain't first, you're last. And right now, EJ Tackett looking to throw one more for four in a row. He wants to be first. And I love Will Ferrell. That's what you do. Oh, my goodness. Look at these numbers, ladies and gentlemen, from EJ Tackett. 510 RB, RPM right above that at almost 19 miles an hour, and he's splitting hairs down lane at the break point. Big lead down. Response for the 24-year-old. Cuts it to 31, but time's running out. Come on. And Dave, remember, we talked about he started with urethane, right? Could have found a then way to goes, move. Then he goes to reactive resin. The difference for him, found a way to move. Joseph, is 10 boards. That's a pretty big difference between the two bowling balls, but that's the difference between a ball that hooks, that one right there in his hand, and urethane that goes really straight. His foundation frame to cut to 21. Yeah. That's just that. Could have found a way to freaking move. Freaking idiot. God dang it. Could have found a way to move. So dumb. At least, he, at least he cleaned it up for us. That's nice. Thank you, Joseph. Frustrated. He has room now because he's opened up the lane, and, and that's the last shot there just hooked up nicely and stopped right in front of the 1 3 pocket. But it's all EJ Tackett right now in full control. Looking for the nickel, looking for the five-banger. You bet, to temp in. Down it goes. Five in a row. We have a Pap six-pack alert. Randy, I can hear it. And you can see it now. If EJ strikes here, he win $1,000. Sponsored by Paps Bourbon of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Please remember to drink responsible and, and that would be great but any mark here in the 10th frame and ej tack it's going to bowl for the title against bj moore 
Oh. For the win. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Look at the difference in that shot right there. We just got done talking about how high his accuracy was. That one's three boards in at the break point and still went high flush. And that just tells you he's got a little bit of room down the lane now. I got to be honest with you, I'm surprised it hit, hit that side of the head pin. I thought it was going Brooklyn. Seven pin. Has the mark. Just keep it on the lane. He'll be all set to win this match in advance to take on the top seed next. Well, I promise you that. That will take eight, take the win, ready? That carry down by Joseph and Brandon is what created that hole down lane for EJ Tackett. The pattern is now longer, so that urethane carries oil down, creates a little bit of hold left of target for EJ, and BJ Moore is going to have the same look. Ronit's quest for a first career PBA Tour title will continue. EJ Tackett. Road to possible player of the year. Could have found a way to move, man. Continues. You know, Frustrating. All you had to do was just move freaking two left. That's all you had Finish to do, man. Finish here for Joseph. Come on, brother. You know better than that. Well, I think Joseph on, man. is. I think we need that. We need this. He needs to cut himself some slack. I mean, we it's a learning it. process. Can't move. This is his first time. I think he did pretty well. Also, uh, his execution was nice. He just missed the move. And guess what? The next time he's in this situation, he probably won't. But it's all part of the learning curve, Joseph. You should be proud of yourself. You had a great event. And, and we do have a Pap six-pack alert, Randy. And he has a six-pack alert. I mean, that's I pretty mean, good. If he strikes here, he'll win $1,000. Sponsored by Passenger Urban of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Please remember, as always, to come on responsibly. Come, come on, Joseph. You can do it, kid. Looking for the 1000 it's a way to finish. Yeah. Good job, young man. Good job. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Maybe you can buy some new shoes. Nice, <laughs> nice kid, man. We're gonna. I hope to see a lot more of him. He was just such a joy, and a pleasure to talk to when we interviewed him. And he, I, I think he did a nice job tonight. He sure did. B.J. Moore, top seed, looking for his second career PBA Tour title against E.J. Tackett. They bowl for a championship. Next. The online graphics you see tonight, including the ball tracer, courtesy of Clutch Bowling. Looking awesome as always. Updated stepladder finals here tonight in Wauwatosa. AJ Johnson, wild match with Buttrup to begin the evening. And then Joseph Grandin, first career PBA Tour TV win. EJ Tackett, eight better than Grandin in match three, sets up BJ Moore and EJ Tackett in the championship match. And Kimberly joined now by BJ. Thanks, Thanks Dave. So, BJ, we were just talking about your family right now and how adorable they are. They said they were getting a little anxious because this is the first time that they are seeing you yeah. bowl live. How much motivation does that give you to come out here and do what you want to do? Oh, this is everything. This is all I've ever told my wife that. You know, I just wanted to win in front of my kids, and you know we're in perfect position to do so. So hopefully we can close it out. All right, good luck to you. I know you got some more practice shots. We'll let you get back to it. Kimberly, thanks. BJ's family, Randy, is here. They're excited. He's excited. There's a lot of pressure yeah. though, as he tries to win his second career PBA Tour title against the best bowler on the planet right now, arguably. Yeah, I mean this is all going to come down to execution, right? Um, and maybe somebody who can trip a ten. But if you don't make shots in this title match, you're not winning. Uh, gutter balls aren't going to cut it. Miss spares aren't going to cut it. You got to execute. You got to strike when your ball hits the pocket. You got to out bowl your opponent. Period. No gimmies in this title match. I'll put you on the spot, Hall of Famer. Who's going to win it? Why do you do that? I love to do that. It's fun. No, I'm not picking because every time I pick, it's wrong. <laughs> and then if I pick and I and I try to go the other way, so the other no, I'm not doing it. All, All right. right, wait. If you really want me to pick. I really want you to pick. EJ Tackett's the favorite. EJ Tackett's the favorite. I'm going EJ Tackett. Odds to win. Provided by Fox Bet for entertainment purposes only. You heard the Hall of Famer with a pick. Can't believe you made me do that. 
I am so mad at you. More Attack at Championship Online next. The PBA on FS1 is sponsored by Go Bowling. For friends and family fun, log on to GoBowling.com to find a center near you. By guaranteed rate, want to move fast? With same-day mortgage, you can go from application to approval in as fast as one day to get you closing on the home of your dreams in just 10 days. Learn more at Rate.com. And by Bolero, the number one place to bowl, party, and play with over 325 locations nationwide. Head to Bolero.com today to find a center near you. Time to bowl championship match time from suburban Milwaukee. Top seed B.J. Moore needs just this win. B.J. Tackett's second match of the night. Going for his fourth title of the year. To start off the World Series in style. Tackett begins. Tackett strikes. Full rack attack for Tackett coming out of the gate here in the title match. B.J. Moore knows exactly what he's up against. From Greensburg, Pennsylvania. He and his family run Falbo's Restaurant and Lounge. And you know they're having a watch party tonight in Latrobe, Pennsylvania. Run for Arnold Palmer and the Steelers. First shot. Oh, it's in the gutter. It's zero. In the channel, we saw that so much from Johnson to one? begin the show. Once the ball leaves the playing field, it doesn't matter if it comes out like it does here and gets the 10 out. The full rack will be put back down, and it's his first gutter ball all week on this pattern. Wow. So tack it at eight this week, but none tonight. None for more this week. His first is in the gutter, his second is high, and as, as tough a start as you can imagine for B.J. Moore in the top seed. Well, there's the overcompensation. Last thing B.J. wanted to do was throw two in the ditch and gets it inside and goes through the face, leaving that split. He is using TNT on both lanes. Top of your screen, 519. Let me get the damn tumble. I'm fine. <laughs> you got it over there. I mean, I got it over there. Yeah. God damn, it's all good. I'll tell you what, BJ yeah, Moore is one of the finest human beings you'll ever meet. What a class act he is. Just a great guy. He's got his hands full right now, early on, and he's going up against the hottest player on the PBA tour, EJ Tackett. He's got to be brimming with confidence now. And he responds to the tough, tough start for B.J. Moore, the top seed here. We talked about what a huge World Series this could be for E.J. Tackett tomorrow night. He is the number two seed behind Jacob Buttriff. Along with the reigning rookie of the year, Santu Tavadainen, Simo, and Svensson. Big time names tomorrow here in FS1 at 7 Eastern. Tune in tomorrow night. I've got a great story about Santu. I can't wait. Tackett tries to continue the perfect start. It does so. Three straight. Locked in. And he's peering it right now. Dangerous combination. You got a guy that can do what he does, like EJ Tackett, and he's executing. Both players play in the lanes very similar in terms of location. You told us pre-show he loves the grind of the long format. All those games to get here. Tough start continues for mm. the 
to seven. Well, BJ being the number one seed had his choice of starting lane and where he was going to finish, and it's unfortunately painfully obvious why he chose to finish on the left lane. Two stands open for him again for BJ. He is in a huge hole here. Well, not the start BJ was looking for, but let me show you how he creates all this power. And it looks like he's just going for a stroll in the park. That big high backswing, but right there you can see the curve in his wrist and his elbow. And then the faster he can snap that off, the more revolutions he puts on the bowling ball. Kind of like throwing a yo-yo or a frisbee. Think about that motion. Fantastic. 236 plus average. Drip 10 pin there for a strike. They're there for a reason. Use them. One game, that's it. Top seed sometimes can struggle. He told us pre match he'd watch some. He'd be practicing on the side lanes, offset, trying to stay loose and ready. But there's not much you could do against a six time member of Team USA when he's perfect. Attack it, tries to remain so. And does! Oh, baby. This man is locked in, Randy. EJ Tackett, perfect through four, looking for his 20th tour victory. And fourth this year, he's won three majors. As we talked about the U.S. Open to begin 2023. Hall of Fame stats. Oh. In. Good shot. Yes, it was. Look at these numbers right here. A lot better than the last shot he threw on the right lane based on strike track numbers. But man, great shot. Six pin, second to the right. Just slingshots around the 10 pin. Yep. He knew it. Oh, no, he thought it was really good. And when it did that, that's how you get that reaction. Ringing 10 pin. Tough, but still a huge lead. Hasn't missed on the 10 pin, continues the perfect stat in this Cheetah event. And he is in the driver's seat looking for another title. That's all business right there. Ball change here for BJ. BJ Moore changing to a different bowling ball on the right lane. Looks like he's going with a Zen. One six all time on TV in his career. And the tough oh, night continues. Man. The 4 9 split. You know, they talk about that number one seed being the most en enviable position in a stepladder finals, but I think I read somewhere where the winning percentage from the number one seed is under 50%. Misses there. Loses even more count. This year, the number one seed is five and three in stepladder finals. All right, so what about last year? Eight and 10 last year. Okay. Seven and three the year before. So yeah, 49 and 53 last six plus seasons. 48%. Ideal. Cheetah Championship. Other finishers. James Blumger, not a match that was with A.J. Johnson. Yeah, it sure was. To determine the fifth spot. There's Nathan Bohr, Jesper Svensson, the Iceman. Chris Bai. Big names, Mitch Hupe. William, Bill O'Neill. More. <laughs> Ten pin. Have wire to wire, uninterrupted coverage here, championship match which appears to be clearly going to tack it. P.J. converts, single pin, spare. And he has the 10 pin, has the mark, but in a massive hole into the sixth for Tackett. 
Well, he's just a couple shots away from winning it for the 20th time out here and increasing the gap between him and Anthony Simonson for the player of the year race. Six frames. You bet. 60 feet to success for EJ again. He is rocking the pins here tonight. EJ Tackett with that hand rotation, ball speed, and power has created a lot of down lane room left and right of target. All he has to do is get all 10 to cooperate. Max numbers all Tackett tonight. Try to go up by 79. Oh, ho, 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 ho. No help across the deck. Tan pin stands. What a teaser. <laughs> EJ at the PBA Jackson Classic, Randy, this year in Michigan, did beat Simonson from the two spot. Simon was the top seed. He's about to do the same thing against B.J. Moore here tonight. I believe it's Shark where we get to see Anthony Simonson, and he's also eligible for the World Championship as well. Simonson is the fourth seed of the Scorpion tomorrow. EJ the second seed, Buttruff. Santu Tabanine, as we talked about, and Svensson. So quite a field tomorrow, 7 Eastern here on FS1. Belmo, the reigning champ in the Scorpion. Kyle Sherman is the two seed, won this event last year. Or Christian Ascona, who was the top seed. Come on, BJ. Finish strong. Seventh for more. Good shot. Good. <laughs> Thank you. Wife Tania's here. Two kids are here. They flew in last night. One of them. Yeah, they are. Action ball in person is pretty cool, right? Hi, guys. Thanks for coming. Beautiful. What a beautiful family. 2019 PBA Wilmington Open in North Carolina. Lone title. Not going to get number two tonight. Are you going to strike, dude? No help on the oh, 10 pin. Come on. I think that's when somebody needs Hopefully to run down there and you. just chuck well, something at it, you know? Just have a BJ Moore fan just run halfway down the lane and chuck a shoe at it. Are you going to strike, dude? Uh, BJ does it all at the restaurant. Falbo is back in Latrobe, PA. Cool. Sometimes line cook. He says his Italian sampler is out of this world. So I'm gonna make a trip there next time I'm in that area. Go check it out. Tacka trying to close this one out tonight. Twenty wins a big deal, Randy, and that's a milestone. That's a milestone, especially when you're 30. EJ Tackett, fourth win of 2023, and it is all his. That locks it up for EJ Tackett. He makes PBA Tour history with his 20th Pretty career boring. title. So Shows so much class and respect for everyone, man. I can't thank you enough. Thank you, brother. This is what we wanted, right? EJ Tackett wins again and continues his fabulous run toward what he hopes is another Player of the Year award. Win number four on the year for Tackett, and he's just getting started here at the World Series of Bowling. Six. Well, it's 10. <laughs> it's Brooklyn. Ah. Next stop, Prospect Park. Oh. Give me that one, too. Thanks. Tackett tied with Hall of Famer Tommy 80. Jones. 80? And let him on a chip. A little short. Dave Rickard, Wayne Webb. Legends with 20 career titles. Big names, Randy. Big yes, names. Sir. It's 13th all time 
in PBA Tour history. Marshall Holman, the Medford Meteor next with 22, is 12th all time. Hey! There's a messenger, there's the scout for the 10 pin. Nice. I told Sean to let me know what I needed in a 10th because I hate calculating. And he said, you gotta know it's going both ways, right? So I needed 80 to beat you, so he yells out 80. <laughs> Have a little fun, that's good. And a great 20 games to lead a talented field to be the top seed. 12th year pro. We're going to see EJ tomorrow night again, Randy. <laughs> he may do it again. Yeah, I, I mean, we're going to see a lot of EJ over the next a uh, couple of days, nights. Thank you. EJ Tackett does it again. Thank you, victory lap, my man. I thought you said one eight. What a night. Just beginning. The 14th guaranteed great World Series of bowling. And, I mean, we could have a preview of that player of the year race tomorrow night. Simonson, the number four seed. The Iceman, number five seed. We have Santu, EJ Tackett there. And also the leader, Jacob Buttrup, once again. PBA bowling. It's alive and well, my friend. Just on purpose. Nothing like it. Nothing like it. You're right, I won't. It's official now. EJ Tackett wins for the fourth time this season. The satisfying moment of the match, sponsored by Snickers. Nothing satisfies life. Thank you very much. Thank you, absolutely. Love you, brother. Trophy time for the champ. Number four. Number four. One more tomorrow night. EJ, I gotta ask, does this win make up for that gutter ball you had 10 years ago on this pattern? <laughs> Most definitely it does. Uh, 20. This is your 20th PBA Tour title. Is there ever a point that you thought you would hear that statement? No, and uh, after I won my last one, uh, you know, you always look at the chart and see who's next, and on that list who you can catch and have your name etched in history with. And uh, that's now Chris Barnes, which is absolutely incredible. He's one of the greatest players that's ever played this game before. And to put my name next to his on that all-time list, is uh, it's kind of surreal. Well, let's talk about this pattern because we joked that uh, it was super tough and you know people were getting butter gutter balls, but you came out with the front five. What did you see out there that you made it look easy in this title match? Well, there was a, a, a lot of uh, shim in the middle of the lane, a little bit left of the gutter. So um, I, I tried to use that as much as possible to keep my ball as far away from that, from that pesky little gray channel. Um, I was able to do that, make some really good shots, and, uh, and here we are. And I, I really want to say thank you to uh, BJ Moore. What a, what a class act and a great person he is, having fun with his kids here. So thank you, everybody. I want to thank all my sponsors, uh, Motive. Uh, Dexter, Turbo, CTD, Alan Samuels, Tony Stewart, uh, Victory Bowling. Um, well, you know what? You still, your World Series is still not over because I, we're going to see you tomorrow <laughs> for the Scorpion. So uh, how do you continue to, you know, ride this wave? You know, uh, go have a, maybe a couple paps tonight <laughs> and uh, celebrate, get ready for tomorrow, come back and do it again, hopefully. All right. Congratulations on your 20th PBA Tour title. Thank you. You know, a lot of sports can learn from our players the class camaraderie. Hell of a year, buddy. Whether it's I'm, victory I'm or defeat, the year. how Thank you, Thank they you. interact with one another, how close they are with one another. Case in point, AJ Johnson and EJ Tackett. Win number 20. And he breaks a wow. tie with Chris Barnes. 20. The Hall of Fame. Congrats, EJ. Great work. Our coverage of the Guaranteed Rate World Series of Bowling continues tomorrow, FS1, 7 Eastern.
PBA Scorpion Championship, where EJ Tackett is the number two seed. Now for Randy Peterson, Hall of Fame. Kimberly Preston, the entire crew. Dave Ryan saying so long. You've been watching the PBA on FS1. What a night for EJ Tackett. Give him 20 career PBA Tour titles and a great start to the World Series of Bowling. See you tomorrow night at 7 Eastern.